Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you, towards the future. So keep in mind that these readings are general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump in for Libra. For Libra regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about their intentions and energies towards Libra? Let's start with seeing how they're thinking, feeling about you at this time. For Libra spirit, what are their person's thoughts, feelings towards Libra at this time? Libra's person's thoughts and feelings. Their thoughts, feelings towards Libra at this time. The moon, Pisces energy, okay. Confusion, doubt, things hidden underneath the surface. This could indicate that their feelings are suppressed or hidden in some way, or they haven't been open completely with how they feel. Pisces energy. Four of Wands, this is a card about happiness, stability, harmony in the home. And the Eight of Pentacles, this is a card about work, effort, um, working on things, putting in time and effort into something. Interesting, so when I see the Eight of Pentacles with the Four of Wands, I think of someone working to have this. You know, like they're putting in effort, time and energy in order to have stability, happiness, harmony. But the moon is like, there's something hidden here. Bottom of the deck is the seven of swords. Yeah, it's like your person, maybe you're not quite sure what they are thinking or feeling about you. Um, maybe you're just not sure of their intentions. Maybe they're hiding something from you, secretly admiring you from a distance. Um, okay, so let's see, tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for Libra? Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is clarity. It's like something needs to be cleared up. Something needs to be brought to the surface. Something needs to be talked about. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Can I get one more for the moon? Someone might want to come clean or just be open with you. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? The Empress. Mm. Please ignore my dogs in the background. I don't know who they're barking at. Well, the Empress is all about creativity, growth, expansion. Uh, with the Empress, there's new life. There's just this energy of potential for abundance. So this could be that someone wants to open up about a Okay, I'm getting the energy of someone that might be wanting to talk about a specific person. So I don't know if this is you, Libra, or someone else. If it's you, I feel like it's what they want with you. Uh, maybe you are someone that they admire, look up to. Let's see, tell me, oops, tell me about uh, the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, an offer of some sort. Asking you out or asking you for a cup of coffee or to meet up and talk. The Page of Pentacles is typically an offer with, or an, a, a small offer or a small promise with the potential for more. Um, bottom of the deck is the world. So maybe this person wants to start something new with you, Libra. A new cycle, a new start. Okay, tell me about the Four of Wands. You know, if this is what they want to do with the Page of Pentacles, then they need to open up with the Ace of Swords. They need to talk to you or be open about what they're thinking or feeling. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Wow, the Six of Cups. So when I see the Six of Cups or the Four of Wands, I think maybe this could be a soulmate or someone that you just get along with extra well. Uh, you see eye to eye or there's a strong connection there. 
Um, Six of Cups is also a card about the past. Good memories. Good times from the past. Could be a past life connection as well. But what I'm getting here more than anything is that this person, when they think about the past, they think about the good times. Maybe your connection was really strong, really special, and they think about it. Tell me about the Four of Wands. What can you tell me about this Four of Wands? The Fool. Yeah, again, there's this energy of like a new beginning, new start. And then the Chariot, Cancer energy, moving forward, moving past. Maybe this person wants to move past the past. You know, they want to move forward into a new future, a new start with you. Um, a risk with the fool. The risk, I feel, is in this movement or action with the chariot. Now, the chariot is all about moving forward or moving towards success. So when I see the chariot with the fool, success is in the future. Success is ahead. Um, this, this is something that someone wants to begin want to be on the path to success bottom of the deck we have the star aquarius energy it's all about healing this could be somebody that wants to heal a connection wants to heal things with you wants to start over i mean that's kind of the energy i'm getting so far um, i'm also getting the energy of someone who want uh, maybe you haven't had an actual history with um, like this could be somebody that you meet that you see yourself with they see themselves with you they notice the connection and they're thinking about a new beginning you know having the courage to maybe tell you how they feel or ask you out with the page of pentacles here with the intention of moving towards a new start you know towards the future but as of right now they haven't been open about how they feel so this could very well be a secret admirer as well i see both scenarios here so far okay tell me about the eight of pentacles Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What can you tell me about the Eight of Pentacles? Okay. King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. These also want to come out. Page of Cups and the Emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like they're um, genuine about what they want. Willing to put in time and effort into this new beginning, Ace of Wands. A new passionate start creative new start etc etc but the emperor is the doer a king of pentacles and the emperor this is not a player king of pentacles and the emperor very serious energies they tend to take things seriously they don't play around they take their time they do things the way that they feel is right um page of cups interesting what's this page of cups about why is the page of cups here Queen of Cups, oh yeah. And then the Four of Cups. So this is somebody that I feel really cares about you, Libra. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Queen of Cups. But the Four of Cups and then now the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is someone that's not interested or um, isn't sure, uh, guarded energy. Um, not very open, right? So this person might be wondering if you're even open to the idea of this new beginning or of accepting this Ace of Wands, Page of Cups from them, Page of Pentacles. Would Libra even be interested in that? For some reason, I think they picture you as not interested, not satisfied, not open. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit for Libra? Seven of Cups, another seven. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, some of you work with this person. Some of you work with this person. This could be a supervisor, a boss. Some of you work with on a project. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. This person has hidden their feelings. Yeah, the Hermit and the King of Cups. Virgo energy with the Hermit, King of Cups. Very similar to this Page of uh, Cups and King of Pentacles. This person has stayed away from you or is like distant from you but having these feelings for you knight of cups at the bottom of the deck just in case you needed that extra confirmation um i feel like this is someone that's i don't know it's like they love you from afar or they're they have feelings for you that they haven't expressed 
Can we get some more insight into what they're thinking, feeling? Ah, towards Libra. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection? What are they thinking, feeling, spirit? I'm feeling overwhelmed. You're always on my mind. Constantly thinking about you. Let's get a hidden truth oracle. Oops. Um, so this card like came out when I was flipping or not flipping, grabbing the hidden truth oracle, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring from the romance angels deck. So a lot of feelings this person has for you. I don't think they've been open with how they feel though, with the with the seven of swords and the moon. And the reason I didn't look at the seven of swords as someone sneaky or um, deceptive is because of the rest of the cards, the rest of the energies here. Can you get some insight into this person's thoughts, feelings? I am becoming a better person. I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, you guys are, there's like a distance here. But I feel it's a distance on their end. Like, it's like they've kept themselves away from you or I don't know. It's very interesting. Whoever this is, they haven't really, I don't know. It's like they're overwhelmed with how they feel. So they keep their distance. Can I get one more energy for this person? This person that Libra is thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know about their energy spirit? What do we need to know? Burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is chemistry's off the charts. Yeah, there's very strong feelings here. Um, and I almost get the sense that this person is always thinking about you, but I don't think it's just physical because I have happy ending at the bottom of the deck. I think it's just they see a future with you or there's something special about you, Libra, that they want to be a part of. And they, they're just drawn to you, I feel, from a distance. They're like, you know, observing you or uh, interested in you. So let's see what their intentions are. Yeah. Spirit, what are this person's intentions towards Libra, towards this connection? What are their intentions, Spirit, towards Libra, towards this connection in the near future? What are their intentions towards Libra, towards this connection in the near future? Let's see what we get. The Knight of Swords. The Magician and the Page of Cups. Okay, so they're going to want to share how they feel. That's what I see here. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very simple energy. They're manifesting you or they're manifesting or trying to make this happen of talking to you um, in an honest way. Knight of Swords, Page of Cups. Um, whatever this, I think this is in regards to the fact that they just haven't come forward. And they know that if they don't come forward, they can't make anything happen. That's what I see here. If I don't come forward, I can't make anything happen with Libra. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Two of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords. I feel like when they come forward, the choice is yours. Yeah, there's a, there's a Ten of Cups again. And then Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For some reason, this person thinks that it'll be completely up to you. On their side, they see a Ten of Cups. They just don't know if you see a Ten of Cups with them. There's doubts about how you feel. Um, will you accept them? Do you see a future with them? Because they see a future with you. Can I get one more, please? One more energy for this person's 
uh, intentions, energies towards Libra. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know for Libra? I stay up at night thinking of you. My goodness, constantly thinking about you. You're always on their mind. Bottom of the deck, I have never felt a bond as strong as ours. I believe that. I think that you have, there's an attachment here, a bond in a way, based on, I don't know. It's. I feel like you have to have interacted with this person in some way, Libra, for them to feel this way about you. But I still don't feel like this is necessarily the past. This could be somebody that you're just not aware they have these feelings for you, that you haven't had a connection with um, as of yet. But I feel like they haven't come forward because in their mind, there is a big chance that they'll be rejected, you know? And so, I don't know. I feel like the reason that they're going to be coming forward with this message, with, with this offer, with talking to you about how they feel, you know, revealing uh, their intentions towards you here is because they cannot rest. They're constantly thinking about you. Maybe you make them a better person. Maybe you're a positive influence on them. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated for you, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like the video if you enjoy how I read. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.